Hey bros, it's me, Jester! And today, I'm gonna be reacting to Ranking Cartoon Meat Boss Battles from Worst to Best, updated December 2020 edition by Hydro Animates. So, yeah, I watched his original ranking video, and like, it was like uh, the original one, like, that was uploaded in like, um, February or March or something, I don't remember. But yeah, I watched that one, and it was, it was, uh, okay. I watched it when, like, after, like, Thanos vs. Patrick came out, and, like, and I assume, like, and all, of course, those opinions are probably outdated by now. So, like, um, also, I reacted to Sonic J. Pin's ranking video, which got blocked for some reason. I also reacted to Chalky Cheese ranking video, and Real One Rev's remastered ranking video, so go check those out. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Disclaimer, I or my opinions suck, so <laughs> if you hate them, dislike this video now. Thank you, and moving on. It's been about six months since my last ranking, and it really blew up my old Terminator channel. And oh, so his channel got terminated? Of the the community, I didn't know that. I just want to say thank you all. Thank you all for your support, thank you all for subscribing, and thanks for sticking with me throughout all of this. And if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe you should subscribe button down there. It's pretty easy to do, and it helps me out a lot. Thank you again, and let's continue. So there's been three new episodes counting the Cyborg vs. Terminator remaster since the last ranking. Pennywise vs. Groot, Black Panther vs. Sonic, and Cyborg vs. Terminator, Terminator. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna put all of these in my new ranking. And the remasters, uh, I'm doing those instead. So let me just kick those originals out, and here we go. Also, Oh, I say the originals the out? At the top left, okay. I have the name of the beatbox. At the top right, I have if they were a winner or a loser. At the bottom left, I have my ranking for it. At the bottom right, I have my original ranking for it and how many placements they went up and down. So, let's go! 26. <laughs> now, this isn't an official ranking. <laughs> oh my god. Even though I don't think Joker's the worst one since... Uh, even, uh, even though I don't think Joker's the worst one, I'm, I'm glad he put this here. And also because like the it also because he's not including the original like Pikachu, Groot, Mickey, SpongeBob, and Patrick Goofy, I guess like uh, so like I uh, so I guess uh, you know this is the only place to put Joker in. Remix, it's just the Halloween new masters, but I'm still counting it. It was made by Ace. Moving on. Oh, this flow is really bad in the original. And that's yeah, it why is really he bad lost now in the original, but. With the remaster, he was really good. Growing all his distance on Pennywise, and I'm gonna think you don't all the kids have been scared. That's still a great roast today. Most of the mm. reasons why I thought it was bad originally was basically there was no beat. And so yeah. it kinda lost the flow and the catchiness of it a lot, but with this one, it was made perfectly great. Yeah. And it's last, but it's still an amazing beatbox. Mm. The Halloween remix one is okay, but I don't include the remixes in mine. 25. Yeah, those two. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Usually I get mad, but like, since he's like including the remixes, I guess, I guess I'm kind of glad he put this here. <laughs> uh oh, Badger! Sorry! Ah! Anyways, <laughs> I really did not like Thanos too. It was me neither. And I know the extended version made a lot more people think that Thanos won, but it just made it much longer and more boring and dragged out for me. He tried way too hard in my opinion. Yeah. Patrick still won for me, but yeah, it's okay, I guess. Yeah, it's okay. 24. Pennywise won. Now, this is the other part of the Halloween remix. Yeah. And even though it is good, it's really good, it's still lower than all the other ones on this list. What really carries it for me is all the different backing vocals. Especially the part where it goes like. <laughs> and so good. Oh, shit. There we go. Back to normal. Yeah, <laughs> I like how he really likes cool. to do like the and dark panini beatbox. Really nice. 23. Dead shot. Ooh, uh, this should be way higher. This should be way higher. To me, it should be. Oops, I'm trying to turn it up a bit since for like, 
It might not be, it might, it might be a little loud for you, but for me, I can't really hear it that good. But I can hear some stuff he's saying. Okay, there we go. Anyway, um, this should be way higher. I mean, I know a lot of people think Deadpool one, which I can understand that, but, and and, and but Deadshot should be a uh, way higher than this. Anyway, let's get on to it. Now, I'm one of those many, many people who think that Deadpool beat Deadshot. Yeah. Last time on my ranking, I had Deadshot pretty high up, but now I've lowered him. Yeah. Because there are some things that could have been improved in this beatbox. His roasts were decent, and his beatboxing was pretty okay. Yeah, Luckily, it was. The remaster made up for some of the things that had problems, like it mostly not having a beat and such. And yeah. At the end, the beatboxing was really good and on point. But I just think that it was okay, maybe decent. And Deadpool did a little bit better. I can see why. 22. Batman. Now, I'm Ooh, a really big fan. this should be fan. way higher. However, since he's including remixes, I can, uh... However, since he's including remixes, uh, I, I know I can uh, I know why it's down here because like the remixes like if I was including the remixes uh, in my rankings, uh, then like Batman would have been a little bit lower than he is now. <laughs> and a Batman's beatbox, but I am too. By all the other beatboxes that are further on this list. He was just pushed down. Yeah. And it's not that I don't like Batman. I really enjoy it. And I do too. As the many people say that Robin ruined his beatbox. I used to say that it happened. But looking at back at it, I don't think Robin ruined it. Yes. In fact, Robin now is actually pretty good. And for the people who yeah. say that Robin being a big character in it ruined it, think of Doodle Bob. Think of Domino and Lady Death. Even think of the Wakandan tribe. Oh yeah, remember when I said like... Domino Lane Death and Doodle Bob and like Dora Milaje wasn't the same as Robin. Well, I take that back. <laughs> yep, and besides, like, um, besides Domino and Lady Death, uh, like the chorus, uh, it's kind of a little bit more than Robin had. So, yep. Mm -hmm. In Black Panthers, all of them had a specific part in the beatboxes, so. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. But overall, I liked Batman's roasts. I liked his flow, and his beat was amazing. Yeah, it was. I really liked Batman's. 21. Thanos round one. Ooh. Wait, he thinks Darkseid beat Thanos? Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to, like, disagree a lot now. <laughs> yeah. So, like, um... I, I I think Thanos won, but I can see why. Also, this is number five. I, I, I remember that. It was number five on his original one. Hey, look! It's the big DMX man! The big DMX scratch it man! Yeah! Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I really think this is... Okay. Hear me out. Last time I thought it was good. But looking back at it now, the meme really overshadows the beatbox. Yeah. And looking more at it, it just feels more and more boring in my opinion. So well, I wouldn't call it boring. Meme, it's actually it pretty really good. dried out the beatbox. But for the positives, yeah. the roasts were really good. This is an amazing parody of Party Up by DMX. And, you know, the beatboxing at the end. But just for all of us, I'll show you all how to scratch it. The way I rank this low <laughs> Here, let me do that. Let me show you how to scratch it. Push it up. 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 Groot is better than Thanos. Groot two is better than Thanos one. Okay. <laughs> Twenty. Groot two. Now I don't hate Groot two. It's really good. But the thing is, there's only one reason why it's so low. Yeah. When watching Pennywise vs. Groot on Ollie's reaction video, you could hear the amazement in my voice of Pennywise two. Which I, <laughs> I really, really loved, loved his before. reaction to but Pennywise two. Afterwards. It was extremely underwhelming. Yeah. After having a huge breathing attack over Pennywise, looking at Groot just felt like a round one. Yeah. And it just felt kind of boring in the reaction. But it's not bad. Look I guess he does have a point. It does kind of sound like a round one performance. Again, I don't hate Groot 2. It's okay. But I st and yeah, I still think it's the worst round two. 
However, in his opinion, he thinks that, like, uh, Thanos 2 is the worst round, too. I can see why. <laughs> you got the flossing and the Sonic type beat at the end. Sonic and type beat? I don't think it was a Sonic type beat. Entire beatbox series. He was actually pretty good. It's just that it was a little underwhelming for me. Yeah. 19. Patrick 2. <laughs> now, in my last rank. <laughs> I do think it should be a bit, a bit higher, but I'm actually glad he put this here because it's just so funny. <laughs> you can clearly see I had Patrick 2 really high. 3 out of 22 beatboxes. Yeah, I remember but that. Looking at it, back at it now, it's not the best. Yeah. It's good, and its flow is really good. And his disses are funny. And look at you, purple. And look at you, purple. <laughs> And him basically describing literally everything he's doing is absolutely hilarious. I know. But at the end, you can clearly see... Oh my god. The fart jokes. The fart jokes it's hating. It's really immature I don't see how people and think... And no stand. I don't see how people think that the fart jokes are... Don't, don't, uh... I don't see how the... How people think that the fart jokes aren't good. I think they deserve to be there. Yeah, they deserve to be there, and I'm glad they are there. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Nerds. <laughs> I know that guy. I saw his reaction. <laughs> You're never going to poop again. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's kind of obvious that Ace would do this. Yeah. But since he's really targeted towards littler kids, it would make sense that he did this for Patrick. But it would have been better unneeded. No, like I said, I think it deserves to be there. Oh, hold on, I need to do something. Sorry, I, I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, I always have to do something in between these reaction videos. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, um, let's move on. 18, SpongeBob 2. Now again, this one was really high on my old Dang. list. But as I keep- This should be way higher. Dang, that's that's just not fair. Uh, and also like since my my uh song J Pin reaction got blocked, I'm gonna say it here. Um, I now think Deadpool beats SpongeBob. Like just like Super Hatman said, there's a difference between being repetitive and a chorus. And I do agree with Super Hatman that Deadpool's is a chorus. And besides, like Deadpool has so many disses on SpongeBob. So, yep, yeah, I think Deadpool won now. So, and I agree with Hydro Animates. <laughs> Listening to them over and over again, my opinions seem to change. And now, I think that SpongeBob lost this one. Yep. SpongeBob's, in my opinion, was good. And good at best. The things that are bringing it down is how long it takes to get to the point. It yeah, takes about 40 that's 30 much seconds of an issue. just to get to the actual disses. And 10 seconds are a pause in between, which clearly could have been cut out. And yeah, as I've said yeah, many yes. times before, if SpongeBob turned into his wizard self, he could have won this battle. Yeah. The plus side, the roasts were really good in this one, and the flow was really amazing. And Doodle Bob is Doodle Bob. I don't really like the Doodle Bob part, but I still think Deadpool 17. Won. Mario. Now we're getting the one. You put Mario over SpongeBob 2? Okay. I'm starting to disagree a lot now. <laughs> that I think are pretty decent. Mario's was good. In Mario vs. Eh, Sonic, was that's okay. a pretty close battle because both of them were really good. I like Mario's disses. Wait, did he? Hold on, what did he say? Battle. And the ones that I think are pretty decent. Mario's was good. In Mario vs. Sonic, that's a pretty close battle because both. Eh, I don't think it's that close. Again, like, Sonic easily won that. As a lot of people keep saying it's close, but I don't really think it is. Sonic easily won that. But hey, I can see why he thinks it's close. Both of them were really good. I like Mario's disses, even though half the time it's... <laughs> and you can barely understand what the heck he said. <laughs> yeah. But the ending <laughs> beatboxing is the only beatbox in CBB I can't barely do at all, so props to Ace to doing that. And the beat is amazing. Yeah, I can do that too. I mean, like, he's going like, like, uh, like, how's it go again? Mario type, I drop it. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> That's so hard. I'm gonna have to learn how to do that. <laughs> 
being so. Good job, Mario. Though, one thing I have to say. The visuals of Mario, see what the animators, you really need a reference to Mario. He looks really off at times, so yeah. just take note of that new CBB animators. Take note. Sixteen. Deadpool two. Now, Deadpool oh. two is actually pretty good. I liked all the I rest and the fast like wrapping part. Higher. That was actually really cool. And fun fact: sponges do poop out of their holes and eat out of their holes too. <laughs> Pretty disgusting fact, but look it up, it's true. And I really think that this was much better than Spongebob 2, even though yeah. it is still a little bit of a close call. I yeah, really think that it was is. good. His flow is amazing, and if you think Robin is bad, basically Domino and Lady Def have the whole chorus, which is way more than Robin had. So, yeah, that's what just I put said. that out there. Fifteen. Dark wow, side. put that over Deadpool 2. Anyone on all these server knows how I feel about this beatbox, and they all know that I really enjoy it. I think he won against Thanos, and a couple other people I know do too, like Penguin and Wild Foxy. Anyways, yeah. moving on. In the last one, I said that Dark Side didn't sound like Gangster's Paradise, and that ruined it. But it's supposed to be a parody, yeah. and what makes it original and much better is that it's Ace's own original kind of version of it. Yeah. It makes it much better, along with the beat, even though it does sound like constipated donkey noises. It is st <laughs> <laughs> The nice Sora Spider reference. <laughs> Still fun to listen to. And the roasts, calling him Barney and basically defeating him in everything that he could possibly do. Yeah. Darkseid really showed him how he could lose. I, I think Thanos won, but Darkseid was really good too. 14. Deadpool 1. Ooh. Now, here are the ones that I'm starting to really, really enjoy and that I honestly listen to a lot. Deadpool 1 was so good. Yeah, it I was. Liked all of, uh, I liked everything about it. From the roasts, to the fast rapping, to this basically fitting Deadpool character. Look at Me Now by Chris Brown was a great choice for Ace to use. And it was yeah. worked out well. All of his disses, and showing Pikachu in CBB form. That's a first. What do you mean showing Pikachu in CBB form? You mean like in the new animation style? I mean, if you're talking about that, I can get that. But like, we already saw Pikachu in CBB, in Pikachu vs. Groot, so... I don't see what you're talking about. If it means the new animation style, then I'm sorry, but like you should say like in the new animation style. But if you mean that, we kind of already saw him in that in the in Pennywise versus Joker because the flashback of Pikachu versus Groot was reanimated. Well, if you guys know what he's talking about, uh, then tell me in the comments on Facebook. <laughs> And his acapella style beatbox, while still fitting in to how he would beatbox normally, is still great. And I think it fits his character a little bit better than Deadpool 2 did. Yeah. Thirteen. Groot 1. Now, Whoa, he put Groot's... Some of the remaster. Wow, he put Groot's remix over Deadpool 1? Wow. <laughs> ...of previous episodes. Groot's was really good. The piano yeah. bit at the beginning was so relaxing and calm. And even though the animation is probably one of the worst in the whole series. Yeah. It just... The animation compared to the new remaster... I forgot to mention this in my Rankin video, but like... Like, um... The animation is so bad. And also that's the reason why Verbalist got a new animation team to help him work on like Pennywise vs. Joker. And like the rest of uh, rest of the episodes until Black Panther vs. Sonic. Yeah. After completely blows it out. The remix is amazing. Compared with all yeah. the vocals and the backing vocals in it are just so smooth. This whole beatbox is just amazing. And at the end, I love the ending. It really shows that he is rude. Twelve. Cyborg. Oh. Now, oh. Cyborg was actually- Oh wow, he thinks Cyborg lost to Terminator? Hmm, I personally think Cyborg won, but I can see why. Really, really good. This is from the newest episode so far. If Pennywise vs. Patrick has came out after this ranking, just know. Oh. Cyborg vs. Terminator is the current episode that is out. So before any of you all comment that Pennywise vs. Patrick isn't in this, you came out before it. Oh, anyway, okay. moving on. 
Cyborg's is really good. I love the beat that Ace added, and the visuals are great. I love the new animation style so far, Me and too. I hope to see more of it. I love Cyborg's take of bad. Me bad too. Yeah, all the MJ remixes in CBB are just top notch. Good yes. job, Ace, for making it great. And the beatboxing at the end is really good, though. Cyborg, what are you spinning? And overall, it's just a really what good, well-rounded beatbox. And the beatboxing at the end is really good, though. Cyborg, what are you spinning? And I don't overall, know what he's it's saying. Just a really good, well-rounded beatbox. Tell him what he's saying in the comments on Facebook. Sonic 1. Hey, uh, let's roll. Why? You put Terminator over Sonic? Oh my god. And Sonic should be at least in the top 10. Yeah, well, it's his opinion. I'm not, I'm not a hating on him because it was a different opinion. That's a stupid reason to hate on someone. I'm just saying. If it were me, I would put him in the top 10 back that first place for my last ranking. Oh yeah, this is number one. One. Sonic. Fire. This is fire. Yeah, that one. Oops. Remember how I said this is the absolute best beatbox in this entire season and probably for the rest of the season in general. Well, yeah, I really got beaten. Yeah. I really thought that Sonic was going to be the best in the season in general, but I learned that there's way more better beatboxes to come. Yeah. And plus the remaster just really dragged it down. But I still think that Sonic won against Mario. Yeah. His beat was really good. I love the disses and the visuals. Plus the part with Super Sonic at the end, I thought nothing could top that. Something could top it, by the way. Yeah. But we'll get to <laughs> that later. I really think the part with Metal Sonic was good, the part with Super Sonic, as I said, and all the roasts, the visuals, just everything. Even though some parts are indeed traced. Yeah. Ten. Mickey Mouse. Now if oh wow, he put Mickey's remix over Sonic 1. Wow. You all look at these visuals and wondering, what the heck are these? I animated them! Yay! Just to show that the remix looks pretty good with new animation. This is supposed to be C to B style Mickey, so... Wait, what? Like 10, 20... 10, 20 plus 9... Um, no, 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 that's not true. 10 plus 9 is not 20. 10 is 10 plus 20. Uh, 10 plus 10 is 20, not 10 plus 9. Yeah, oh well. I applaud myself for how good I did. Oh, okay, start with the ego. Anyway, I really think that Mickey's remaster really is way better than the original. Man, so really man Hydro Animates has good, it knows how to how animate much good. It embodies what Mickey should be. The beat is amazing, even though it gets off tempo at some point. The yeah. vocals, the backing vocals, you can even hear Goofy as a little Easter egg. Oh, really? I haven't noticed I never noticed that. It's a true remaster for what a remaster should be. And that's why it's here in the top 10. So, I applaud you, Ace. Good job in your Mickey. Man, Hydro Animates knows how to animate really good. His animation is super good. 9. Pikachu's remaster. Oh, wow. You put. Pikachu's remix over Mickey's remix. Wow. <laughs> Master. Pikachu's remaster really is way better than his original. If you look at my original, I said Pikachu was the worst out of all of them. And that's com Well, the original is not the remix. The remix is okay, and it's certainly better than the original. Completely wrong now. I love Pikachu's remaster. Me too. The, the new voice really makes it better. A lot of people don't like it, but I don't like how Pikachu's high voice fits with the beatbox. It really does not fit a single bit for me. So yeah. I really enjoyed what Ace did with his voice here. The backing vocals, the beat is one of my favorite beats that Ace has ever put in CBB. Yeah. Another one that I think is my favorite will come up soon in the ranking. But I really enjoyed this one. That's it. I said it! I said I really enjoyed this one! Guess what? one for the cow. I'm gonna say that more in this ranking. Oh, anyway, okay. Moving on. <laughs> so, I really enjoyed Pikachu's. Just everything about it is amazing. And even though the. Even though they can't touch this, you know, that yeah, animation, you know, it's like Kalobi's Fall Guys do anything. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, like. Even though that animation looks. 
Yeah, Hydra animates animates better than Kalobi. Yeah, that's why I don't want Kalobi. <laughs> It's still good in the end, yeah. And my favorite part about it is that it's Bad Neon Ten's favorite beatbox. Because it goes like, shoo! <laughs> Eight. Patrick won. Now, here's where I'm starting to get a lot of haters. Yeah, I think that Patrick lost in remasters. What a surprise, but oh. everyone on the Discord server knows he Lost in remix so. or Moving remasters? On. I really think that Patrick. I think Patrick's remix is better than Goofy's, but I can see why. It was way better than the original, and it did make it a closer match, but I do know who I think won in this one. So, I really enjoyed what Ace did with this. The beat is amazing, the way he used the auditum, the vocals was sick, yeah. I loved the flow, and the roasts were great, and the beatboxing at the end. Just, this is self-explanatory anyway. It's playing in the background. It's amazing. Yeah. And it just really shows what Patrick's personality is, basically. Yeah. That's all I really have to say. Seven. Goofy. Here we go. Before you dislike the video, hear me out. I think that Goofy won against Patrick. Yeah, that's me. I think Goofy's 7th and he won against Patrick. And here's what I love about this beatbox. First off, it's a great remix of Eminem. It fits perfectly. I love the animation in this one, even if there's a couple animation errors in this episode. It's truly one of my favorites in the series. I love the techno beat. Everyone thinks that it doesn't fit at all and it makes the beatbox worse. But have you all seen the Goofy movies? Goofy in the movie 2 literally shows techno Goofy. This yeah. definitely fits. It's one of the greatest things to happen. And the beatboxing is amazing. I cannot do that high part. It just goes like... Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> hey. I can't do that either. Well, let me try. <laughs> that sounded super horrible. <laughs> that sounded so horrible. Yeah, I can't do that high part. I'm going to need to learn how to do that high part. <laughs> Anyway, let's continue. Anyway, moving on, I really enjoyed it. So, that's all I really have to say. I can't really explain why I love it so much. It's just really, really good in my opinion. And that's all I really have to say about it. Six, SpongeBob One. Now the remaster for SpongeBob One. It's really, really good. I know. Oh. Really see another fun animation that I did. No, I, I don't so. sorry, sorry with the ego. Sorry with the ego. Moving on. SpongeBob One is way, <laughs> way improved in this one. I love the beat in this one, and it's so. Wait, what was that? Yeah, what was it? Wait, like, where was it? Like um, <laughs> f you. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's continue. It was way, way improved in this yeah, one. Yeah, that, that was what I was laughing at. <laughs> you were like, why is he laughing? He's laughing at nothing, weirdo. <laughs> no one's laughing because it's uh, like, F you. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's uh, continue. I love the beat in this one. And Me it's too. And so chill and amazing. Plus the beatboxing at the end was really, really improved. And it makes it a way better take of the fun song than the original. Making yep. it its own original thing and just making it way, way better than it was before. And it's just a great way to show off SpongeBob's skills. I really think. Sorry, I was yawning. <laughs> that SpongeBob deserved the win this round. Yeah. Okay, so that's it for the remixes. Five. Black Panther 1. Ooh, now, is it his top five? Is top it my five. top five, All too? All five, I will listen to each day. I will always talk about how amazing they are, and I will always back these up. Number five is my Black Panther one, round one. Yep. Thing. Yeah, so, anyway, I really enjoyed this one. <laughs> it was really good. And so, I just want to say that the Wakandan tribe was a great backing vocal for this. 
And the beat was really good. I loved his smooth criminal remix. Yeah. As I said, the MJ remixes are the best part of Ace's things. I love all of them. Uh, MJ Panther, that's something to say. Yeah. I love the roasts. The roasts were amazing. And the animation. The animation is one of my favorites in all the series. Just because yeah. of the beginning is so good. And yeah, all I really have to say is it's amazing. What, what else do you really need to say about it? Yeah. We know how to party. Sorry. Now, I was contemplating between my fourth and third Oops. spot. Because I wanted to put Terminator in three, but I also wanted to not get as much hate as I'd get on this video. So, four. Terminator. I really, 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 really liked this one. It was really good. The beat, as I said before, I was saying about yeah, the beat. Yeah, I don't this think Terminator is, is that good because, like, it is so. Because, like, um, the roast is like, um, the roast are really stupid. Like, you are never going to poop again. And I know in my real one rev reaction, I said that it it was like, um, really, uh, I I said that it was funny there, but. Looking back at it, yeah, that was really stupid. And I and I said that in my like Sonic J pin reaction, but since it got blocked, I'm gonna say it here. So oh, good. I used it in HYB. That's how much I like it. Wow. It's amazing. It's so calming. And people hate when you do the. That shows Terminator's power. It's literally making him transform Cyborg into all the different things. And while this is a really traced beatbox using a bunch of PNGs from the original, basically copying the storyboard. Yeah. That's kind of what it is. But I can't talk about the animated tracing. This is not a CBD RAM video, so I will not talk about that. I yeah. really enjoy Terminator's beatbox, the roasts, you are never going to poop again, and the flow is really what? good. What? So, that's kind of what it is. But I can't talk about the animated tracing. This is not a CBD RAM video, so I will not talk about that. I really enjoy Terminator's beatbox, the roasts, you are never going to poop again, and the flow. Oh, really okay. Good. So, yeah. Terminator at 4. Okay, so I think, like, the next ones are going to be, like, Sonic 2, Black Panther 2, then Pennywise 2. Again, maybe Black Panther and Sonic will be switched up. But I'm pretty sure Pennywise 2 is definitely going to be number one. Anyway. I knew Three. it! Sonic 2. Now, this is the better Sonic of the two. Yeah. I really, really, really like this one. Only for a couple reasons. One, the flow is amazing. I love the beat and his rendition of Chemical Plant Zone from that old video I made a while back was really good. I loved all the roasts in this, including the meme that's become now couldn't save my dad.com. Oh, you're not ready yet. And <laughs> I loved the, the animation. It's so smooth. I know. Some parts, it's kind of bad. And the lyrics, most of it is hard to understand. Yeah. But when you actually look at them, you can understand them and really think they're good. And at the end, this meme is basically enough to put it at number three. Yeah. Wait, was it? <laughs> good job, Ash. You made a good meme. <laughs> oh my god. Now, which will go into my number two spot? Which will be my first favorite beatbox? Black Panther 2 is going to be next. Two. Black I knew Panther it! Black Panther 2. Now, number 2 and 3 were really hard to decide on which is better because it's one of the closest CBB matches yet. Yeah, Sonic it was. Sonic and BP were both amazing, but I think as of now, BP beat Sonic. I really like his rendition of Everybody by the Backstreet Boys, and it's just so smooth as BP's beatboxes should be. I loved the animation on this one. I love the roast in this one, especially the he's the fastest thing around, but underwater always drowns. It's so smooth. <laughs> yeah, I really like that one. Kind of one thing wrong with this beatbox. Amy. Yep. Uh, yep. One. Hey, wait, I forgot one. Oh yeah, you're right. One. Cold Brew. It's oh really a good stuff doing the Cold Brew <laughs> beatbox against Toga from My Hero Academia. Oh, wait, wait, never mind. Uh, wrong, wrong script, everyone. One. Pennywise 2. Oh. There's many, many reasons why I think this is my number one. For one, in Always Reaction video, you can clearly hear me hyperventilating. Let me just play the clip. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
my god. It was so good for me that I thought Groot 2 was underwhelming, as I said earlier on my list. Yeah. The roasts were amazing, the beat is so good, and the scratch it is so amazing. He really showed us how to scratch it spooky style. The puppet scene is kind of cursed, but it still looks really clean. And just, I love everything about this beatbox. Yeah. Everything about it is so good and amazing, I just have no complaints for it. Yeah. Other than the cursed looking animation at some parts, but oh. yeah, it really looks good in comparison. Good job. You made Pennywise 2 my absolute favorite, so far at least. Well, Black Panther 2 is my favorite, but Pennywise 2 used to be my favorite, but now Black Panther 2 is my, my favorite. Ranking. Hopefully it was better than that kid hat man's over there. Hey, I believe all our rankings are equal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go to your can ranking. Anyway, <laughs> if you want to this video... Hat man was there. <laughs> Anyway guys, that's the end of this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, go to my Facebook page and tell me what your was your ranking list of cartoon beatbox battle solos and what did you think of Hydro Animates ranking video. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye!